<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> What's going on? I'm Charlie. I'm Jean. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in Multicasking. We're doing a corking for you today, Jean. Yay. The Arbeg Corivecan. Uh, some say it's the best of their core line. Really? Some say no, it's Ugedal is the best of the core line. Uh, I'm gonna let you uncork that. Okay. Uh, so yeah, gonna do this for you here today of the Arbeg Core Release. What is your favorite? What do you mean core release? Core release. This is the something they always have. It's their core line of whiskeys. Oh, what is your favorite uh, Ardbeg, if you please? Let us know down in the comments below. If you like our shirts, you can go to multicasking.com and get one of our shirts. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to change our shirts up. You are? Well, these are 100% cotton and I don't like them. I like the ones that have a little bit of polyester because they have that soft feel. Okay. So I think I'm actually going to change that up. Do that then. Uh, so yes, Arbeg Cory Bacon, Isla Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. I love that they put this dark gray writing on black. Oh. So the ABV 57.1 ABV. I think I, I remember that being 57.1. <laughs> well, thank you. This is known as the turbulent, the peppery, and the dark fruited. Interesting. Uh, it's named after the whirlpool north of Isla. Uh, there you go. Hey, do you want to have a fire tonight? Why would you ask, Jean? Uh, I don't know. Some, some in my head just be like, "Hey, let's sit around a campfire." It's only 140 degrees outside. Of course, I want to have a campfire. Yeah, it seems like the perfect time to to start a fire. Never mind. I already started it. So you're getting that backyard campfire, <laughs> which is nice. I don't know. I heard dark berries in there. I'm really trying to get those dark berries. I can't get past campfire. For me, this is a salty meat with some uh, paprika and I'm getting ready to throw it into the smoker. Okay. This is 100% paprika. This is, to, you say campfire. Yeah. Now that's in my nose. I'm it's just more letting about, it open up a little bit is what I think needs to happen because. This is mesquite smoke. There is, it's not a bad smell. At all. It's, it's, it's really nice. I mean, it, it's, it's a, it's smoky. It is a smoky smell. It's peat. Um, well, it's a barbecue flavored potato chip. Yes, yeah. Oh, easily. It's, it's barbecue lays. Good job. Um, it is salty, seaweedy. Um, you're on you're on the beach with this. Breach. <sighs> These are salted peanut shells. I like I like cracking the peanut shells. You do. You said peanuts, right? Yeah, peanut shells. Okay. What do you think I said? Just say, if, you want to see, if sometimes if you say peanuts quickly. Yeah, what sounds does like, it sound like? It sounds like marmalade. You know? <laughs> oh, <laughs> is that what peanuts sound like? Yep. Uh, so yeah, you know this is barbecue, this is smoked peanuts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Lay's barbecue chips. You're funny. I'm a funny fella, you know? Uh, did yeah. that chip in some. This is packed with strong flavors. You're not going to miss this at all. No, those, Peat is all over the palate. Those barbecue, nice. sometimes it's like the, I don't know what, what brand it is, but the barbecue chips that are really heavily Blake. flavored with that barbecue dust. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm having to go in. Have a go in. Mm-hmm. Some people do peat right, some people do peat wrong, but this, I think, at least for the nose, is a peat done right. Huh. Coats with palate, oily, viscous. All the barbecue smoke is there. The peat kind of takes a bit of a seaweed on the palate. Peppermints. Peppermint ice cream. Peppermint ice cream. Uh, smoked. smoked. Peppermint ice cream. Smoke house almonds. Remember when we used to eat oh. those? Mm -hmm. It's umami. It's, it's uh, a little bit savory. Of, there's a little bit of a sour note for me, like a like a sour apple um, beneath the smoke. The smoke forward, peat forward, but underneath that, there's a little bit of that uh, like a sour apple um, pear finish. 
I would like to see this next to, some people say it's either this or the Ugadol. I would like to see this next to the Wee Beastie. I believe this is an eight year, mm. no, that's, if memory serves. I believe uh, Corey Vecchio's an eight year. Been a while since I've looked. But and Wee Beastie's five is why I say that. Wee Beastie, I, I think I would like to see this next to the Wee Beastie because Wee Beastie has the same notes of the barbecue notes and the salted meats. Right. More this than is a all those. smoky butterscotch now. The second sip was instead of those sour apples and, and pears, mm. I'm getting like a butterscotch, smoky butterscotch. And this is not, I mean, it, it's peat, it, but it's not blowing my palate out, Pete. I say that. I probably couldn't go back to like an Elijah Craig or anything right now. You know, I'm gonna add just another water. I usually don't do two waters. I'm gonna do another water. I'm gonna do water. Two drops of waters. But I am curious, what is your favorite? Uh, I mean, well, what's your favorite Arbeg? But what is your favorite uh, Isla? Now I got Arbeg. So I just. Christmas? This reminds me of I just purchased a new inflatable bed, and I opened it, take it out of the box. Nailed that it. That plastic. Yep. Um, brand new plastic smell. You're saying inflatable beds. I was thinking of an inflatable uh, thing for like uh, Christmas or Halloween you put your yard. Oh, that plastic, that yeah. fresh, brand new, out of the yes. box plastic. Easily, easily, nailed yep. it. Yep. That, yeah, 100%. It's that plastic, or if you're like in a department store and you're around a bunch of plastics. Hmm. Hmm. Drop of water smoothed out that peat for me. It's still smoky, but it's not as smoke forward. It's more of mm. a, a nice, I still have a little bit of those sour oh. notes, but it's like a fruity sourness with a little bit of smoke now. Thicken it up. Uh -huh. I, I now need a fork and a knife to cut this up. It's thick, it's viscous, it's oily. Got mm. great legs on the glass. We always forget to talk about legs on the glass. Huh. Uh, we are, we are, at least I, I'm not to speak for both of us. You're your own person. I, right now, am firmly in the Ardbeg, Ardbeg camp versus Lefroig. Um, That's not talking about Lefroig. Um, I'm trying to think of the other one that I really like. Uh, Lagavulin is uh, a very close second. If Lagavulin for me and Ardbeg are, are neck and neck. Uh, we need to get, we need to dive into the carcass. We need to dive into the car, just quit screwing around, just do it. I used the bad marker. I got 89. <laughs> well, it looks like you're getting ready to have a 90 because you guys, 89 keeps doing that. It's going to have a plus one here pretty quickly. <laughs> just saying. Yeah. Yeah, 90. This, this is. Uh, I almost did a 90. It, it, it's good. It's I a like 90. It. It's got all the flavors. It's flavorful. A lot of whiskeys. We have a lot of whiskey. We also have a lot of bad whiskey, a lot of unflavorful whiskey. This is packed with flavor. I like it. Do you want to know how much it is? I'm hoping you're going to say 75 or less. What was it? It won't be 90 bucks. I don't have a problem with being And 90. I think we have two of them. Probably have two of them. I think. Sometimes I forget I to check our inventory and I buy stuff thinking that we I don't have it yet anyway we have two of these it's good we like it nice <laughs> yeah good thing we like it uh, yeah uh yeah I like it anything to add Jean I have nothing else to add I'm Charlie and I'm Jean and I hope you are just as thirsty as we are Click.